we're really into World War II stuff. The quote, you can't get a faithful squad with silver and gold, and with her you will get silver and gold is attributed to Vladimir Sviatoslavich. The phrase has been popular for over a thousand years, and has been used to excuse people who like strong drinks. It's also been used as proof that Russians have always been inclined to drink. However, the story of Vladimir choosing Christianity is not entirely accurate, and the tradition of drinking in Russia wasn't as widespread as people think. In Vladimir's time and before, people didn't know strong alcoholic drinks like we do today. They drank honey, beer, and other fermented drinks a few times a year, mostly during special holidays. It was a ritual and religious tradition, and everyone was expected to take part. But the drinks didn't last long because they were natural and live, and there were no ways to preserve them. Honey was the most popular drink, but it was expensive and mostly exported. Wine was even rarer and was mainly used by the church or very important people. The tradition of drinking alcohol was influenced by the Scandinavian mercenaries, who also had similar drinks to the Russians. The princes had to hold feasts for their warriors, and the warriors expected to be treated generously. They were highly valued and their opinion was important, so the princes had to keep them happy. But it wasn't always a good idea, as drunkenness sometimes led to tragic consequences, as seen in historical events. The use of alcohol was sometimes used as an excuse for the defeat of the Russian army in wars against the Mongols. But it wasn't always the case, as some princes tried to ban the use of alcohol in certain situations. I'm really into stuff about World War II and World War I, 